All right. So we're talking about uh, the open dental to credit card processing uh, interface that we built. And uh, this is readily available. Right now, we've built it for authorized.net. We can uh, basically replace any gateway that you're interested in that allows for API access. And we're going to show you when we're in a patient file, how easy it is to process a credit card. So go ahead and do that for a penny in here. And that brings up, you'll, you'll have an icon there on the, on the screen to pay. Enter, enter the, the credit card number here. Um, once you enter an incorrect number the first time, so we can see what that looks like. So there's what a valid, it's smart. So it knows when somebody's entered a, an incorrect um, card number and go ahead and enter it with the correct number this time. And then we get a, when the correct number comes out, it should go free and clear, right? Mm -hmm. Do a double check. Right. Normally, this can be can be done very quickly. Um, I assume uh, you know one of the things that we're going to get requests for is the ability to integrate in with um, with machines, right? To be able to credit card swipe and pull that data in. When we mm -hmm. get that question, how do we answer that? So machine, we have not enabled with the machine yet. This is only on the Open Dental or uh, web. So for okay. machine, we need to learn that part also down the line. Right. But yeah, so we can... people don't want machines. In fact, the feedback which I got from uh, the office which we are beta testing it, they don't mind swiping the card, uh, typing the card here because it's not a double entry. Even the swipe the card in the machine, print out the paper, give it to the patient, and then sign in and come back inside open and do double entry. So that's problematic. Right. So keying in this is pretty easy. They don't All mind right. doing that. Yeah, and this can also be done through, I mean, we're, we're building out patient portals and other ways of making this uh, yes. possible as well. Um, so that's good to know. I just want people to know exactly what it can do and what it can't do. So, um, all right. So it requires a, a phone number there to be in the, uh, in the patient file. Yep. Go through. All right. There it goes down the bottom. Payment successful. You want to show us it coming through on the, uh, in this case, authorized.net side? Then you can see the auth code and transaction ID all recorded inside Open Dental, so nobody have to worry about that part. Everything stays inside Open Dental. Perfect. And we go to auth.net and go to unsettled transactions. Home. Unsettled transactions. And we can see that one go. cent here, which we charged. And we're going to avoid it. Love it. All right. Well, it's that simple. There's open dental integration. I mean, I think it's good. We like to talk about limitations because people are going to ask mm -hmm. that about the processor. I think for the right customer, we would definitely we can implement that because I've seen that functionality in other systems that we built in the past, other practice management integrations. But um, in this case, uh, you know, we're keeping it simple. So. Mm -hmm. Appreciate your time, and uh, you can stop recording. Thanks. Perfect.